Hello, welcome back to Brand Social Life. In this episode, we're gonna continue with our explorations of light and space, especially in terms of pulsing AR generated character. So I talked about control net in the previous video, but probably too short. Um, I'm gonna try to talk a little bit more. Um, so control net is something is let's say it's just like some kind of algorithm that can look at the photo reference and then turning it into a uh, kind of uh, data or like it can tell the AI to pose your character so there are a few algorithms that you can use like Kenny using the edge detection, Dev using Dev, Midas Dev we actually touched this a little bit a uh, few months ago um, the one that's really interesting is actually this open pose so the open pose is uh, it's actually really similar to like if you are using a, a 3d character rig and then you are posing a character um, there are other things it's, uh, it seems really complicated but that's this is the this is the start of really something really cool that you can try yourself so whether you are using photo or you are like scribbling um, or you are using uh, segmentations like for room like area segmentations you can tell AI to generate uh, this kind of photorealistic art or stylistic whatever um, yeah this one is the scribble one the the one that we're gonna take a look a little bit more is this one the one that's using uh, open pose so you can use a photo reference and then using the AI, it's gonna try to guess, estimate the pose, and then you can use this um, open pose, uh, like a stickman figure, to generate more photo or stylized artwork. Okay, like this guy is also, this is really, really cool. This astronaut based on this character figure. So there's uh, this, okay, I basically managed to install it on my computer as well uh, I'm gonna run it I'm using again I'm using M2 Mac and um, M2 Pro Mac machine this is the base model um, okay this is some example of human pose you can find a lot of human pose online on a video YouTube or Twitter or even maybe uh, Reddit or even TikTok because people dance a lot these days. So full character figure will work really well. Um, this is a an example demo. I think I will. I can try this. This is the. This is something from Blender actually. So a rig that's using um, open pose bones with this uh, colorful. Uh, bones joints it's like a stick figure basically so i don't know whether this is gonna work or not this is the one this is kind of like a demo that's available online okay um the character rig it's uh i i don't know it from online originally it's looking like this when you open it file set as let's see save this as new file so we, we don't we don't need to screen but maybe you want to see it from other side so this is the open post bone if it's made into a 3d character rig so you select the rig and you go to post mode if you if you are familiar with using 3d rig you can quickly Pose your character anywhere you like. Anywhere you like. Uh, let's save this anyway. It's a random pose, and you can render this out. Okay, you don't need GPU. Just your CPU. Okay. Turn off everything. So we have. This is something that you can render. Okay, and then the AI will actually understand and it, it can produce an output based on this. 
sometimes the result is not perfect but it's close okay let's say this is the demo that's all, all online and then sometimes it runs sometimes it doesn't run depends depends on how busy uh, the surface is this is the one that's running on my machine um, yeah let's let's take a look how we can use this so I'm using this stable diffusion web UI from automatic 1111 this is a famous one it's a it seems like uh, this is an open source of course everything is open source here here including the the post and everything we, we just kind of like synth we are remixing or synthing the ideas right um, and I already have control net installed on my machine we can we know because we can see it under extensions SD web UI control net okay this is the the one from Miku build this is the one that actually works so I will use text to image I will start from nothing and I will use I will enable this control net just enable it first I'm just gonna drag and drop this pose this is the one from blender or I can save this as well let's create a new shift a create a new camera wait shift a create a new camera view align active camera to view okay and then set this to okay, let's see 512 by 512 the default size camera to view just frame it render okay let's try this render render image image save as save it on the desktop name it number two so anyway this is the blender rig at some point we're gonna try something else uh, preprocessor seems since we already have a pose here in this case we don't need preprocessor this is the one you know like Kenny Dev open pose this is the one that we are using it's not even a scribble this is just the stick figure already so we don't need to use preprocessor for the model we're gonna use open pose and let's say it's a if we just type in anthropomorphic dancing uh, should we say monkey masterpiece portrait or just photograph of anthropomorphic monkey realistic maybe it's dancing fat chubby plump monkey so it's looking a little bit more interesting sampling steps 20 we are using this proto gene model batch count one let's see if this actually works or not I'm gonna load the model and yeah pre-processing Let's see how long this is gonna take. Hopefully not too long. I'm hoping under one minute, one or two minutes. Okay, this one. So because I'm recording, it it takes like uh, yeah almost two minutes. Could be faster, but anyway. So yeah, this is the one sample. Maybe I just I'm just gonna put all the links. Okay, this one is actually someone created this okay it's really cool okay this is the open pose and this is the, the bones and rotations uh, you can play around with this this is actually quite new just posted today on Twitter so uh, we can post this like uh, like the cactus in Final Fantasy for example Yeah, anyhow from this pose we can save it okay for example we go to our pose right right just convert it into JPEG okay 
we have this pose and I haven't tested this um, whether the proportions will affect the final result I think you can actually have multiple arms you can use pose estimations so if you have you have a figure from online okay you have a character in in a very cool pose that you can you want to use you can try maybe let's see sometimes it's a let's do like a dancing figure or something yeah let's try this one for example Take a screenshot okay this one seems to be completed so I don't know if this works or not okay yeah we have a, like a chubby character there dancing fat chubby plump monkey okay alien monkey with blue skin realistic um, yeah seems to be working uh, let's try a different different pose generate oh yeah the seed is random at the moment I can actually turn off random so it keeps the same character each time you generate something so this takes one or two minutes Estimations. Okay, I will try this pose. My image is a bit large, but yeah, okay. We got a new pose, and we can actually reuse this. We can save. If I get back to our character is not yet completed with a proper gene I will if we are not careful we get a human shape person okay <laughs> blue character is a plump alien monkey okay you can say monkey bear furry highly detailed let's just art yeah this is for the negative from it's actually really important uh, fat chubby plum alien monkey bear with blue skin at the jungle okay we had a character and the character is like looks like waving looks very happy the leg doesn't really match but you got the idea okay let's try this this one so if you want to do a batch you can do a batch here you can create 100 maximum by default 100 different pose uh, actually not just the pose 100 different generations of AI art okay so like a synth and you can use different prompt you can actually try lexica art and try to find interesting looking character alien robot cyborg that's usually the safe one because you if you with the humanoid you might get a, like a result that's maybe not safe for but with alien stylistic character it's normally fine look alien xenomorph let's replace this alien monkey bear and replace that our bear is actually nearly completed See, it takes time sometimes one or two minutes generations on this M2 Pro machine. Um, online sometimes could be faster. They're more depending at, on the, how busy they are. Sometimes you don't get any result at all. 
but could be faster a few seconds if you have faster machines it's nice uh, you know because yeah uh, okay we got resolve I'm gonna try batch create a four different, different resolve while we are playing around with this you can have different width and height sometimes it's a little bit better sometimes if you have a character that's standing and dancing but 512 512 is safe it's that's the default just the JSON nodes points to no pseudo 3d rotation so open pose will give you like a stick figure that looks like 2d it can be based on 3d character or anything anything actually like even if you go to sketchfab i mean you just take yourself doing a pose and and use your photo to get that interesting pose that you want so see if you can find interesting pose from sketchfab that we can use okay this is a t pose or a pose this character looking a little bit more interesting cool fox strange that I couldn't just click on it I don't know maybe my internet is a bit slow but let's see how our alien is looking xenomorph alien it's not bad okay the resulting image uh, can vary a lot depending on depending on the prompt okay you can let's say with in the latent space because it's abstract space full of noise and we are just trying to guide the AI to form something based on this pose so you can think of it like that so you can use any prompt positive and negative prompt and then use different model as well and you're gonna get different result if I use anime model I get like anime looking artwork so this one takes around two minutes so it's a little bit longer than before so I heard that apparently you can have multiple multiple arm wheel works if you have uh, uh, arms and limbs in this with this tool with the pose maker you cannot have multiple limbs maybe you just use the blender one you can actually have a multiple character as well control control drag to scale oh. control doesn't work on Mac okay now it completely dis disappear Control E to add a new person. Control E. Maybe on a Mac, it's just Command E. No, it doesn't work on Mac Safari. Safari. Maybe I have to use another way to create a new character. But you can have multiple person anyway. Uh, Bring or expand frames. You can make character that's doing your guides. Posing is the first in when whether you are doing 3D or 2D. A strong character pose is very crucial in your for your character. Okay, standing or doing an actions. It's all based on a pose and the pose cannot be boring and the pose, you know, needs to have a nice silhouette, things like that. Uh, let's just save this. See how 
our alien is looking. Looking like the Santa. Yeah, and in in theory, you can, I believe, if you if you keep the same seed, uh, you can make the character dance, and it's gonna look believable. Maybe it's a bit jumpy because it's a uh, it's it, in Latin space. It's not, it's not like you have like a three D characters, with something that's solid, uh, like a three D mesh that you rig and you skin and you you pose it. It's different. In this case, it's like a two D, and you are trying to interpolate between this Latin, uh, between post, kind of like interpolating pixels, but you're, it's trying to do its best to recreate and keep the same character. Making, making it coherent is always like a, an interesting topic. Yeah, I tried different result before. So anyhow, uh, if you, yeah, if you like to animate a character like you can do it uh, using this AI with the tools that the tool is like really uh, like happening really fast these days like every day there's gonna be like a new tool it's really so I try to keep up so that's why I, I created video just to keep myself myself sane it's a I don't know if it's healthy or not but but basically um, yeah in order so this is another another demo right the scribble and everything you can try this demo on this is from by Jasper Jiggly uh, on replicate.com there's a lot of service as well online that offer the same thing if you if you can install it <clears throat> offline like on your computer like this it's cool and you can use like instead of Chrome and the pose using control and and the uh, yeah you can also use image to image or you can actually do like a batch or video dancing video of character so I haven't tried it with a video, but that's probably what I should do next. So anyway, any character, any pose, you can create a result that's looking like a 3D render or like a photo photograph. Um, yeah. So give this a try yourself. I guess it's a it's a fun thing to do. It's definitely you need a lot of you need a bit of programming skills not too much and you need a, a good machine like with if you have Mac M1 or M2 it will definitely works it's probably slower but it will work um, depending on your machine but uh, if you have like a GPO GPU like Nvidia it that will be maybe a little bit faster as well but I like to use these uh, M1 or M2 machines so thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully this is useful. I will try something a little bit different next time. And thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.